Hello, my name is Blanche Burley and I've recently published a paper with Environmental Education Research which explores the process I term learning to live with climate change. So learning to live with climate change firstly recognises that life arises through relationships, which is that life is always uh, living with others. However, in a world of rapid global climate change, any recognition that life is, arises through relationships involves recognition that some of those relationships are threatened. And so while in environmental education we often teach about interrelations and interconnections, we often don't pay attention to the effective impact that this can have on students. And so part of learning to live with climate change is not only recognising relationships, but also the effective adaptation that's required uh, to process the sorts of grief that comes with that. In the paper, I explore this process through exploring the specific emotions that my undergraduate students of sustainability experienced in a course I taught in 2015. These were hope, as well as feeling overwhelmed, guilty, feeling a lot of grief, and also anxiety and frustration. I explore how the experience of those emotions countered students' existing individualistic and anthropocentric ways of identifying with the world, and also how that contributed to more positive alternatives emerging. And so I argue that the process of learning to live with climate change can be understood as a process of bearing worlds, which is to come to terms with the end of the world that we've known, while also labouring to produce alternative, more positive worlds. So the paper sort of concludes with a kind of call to action for environmental educators arguing that if we're to enable students to learn to live with climate change we need to consider the skills, knowledges and capacities to care for not only others but also for the self as key to environmental education.